Hello dear all, I am Santosh Wa and welcome to channel Learn Easily by Sandhya Wa. In this video, we will see solutions for 8th standard scholarship examination question paper 2022 mathematical section. So let's start our video and see questions from 31 to 35 of set A. See the question number 31. Which of the following statement is wrong? First is if a number is divisible by 2 and 5, then it is also divisible by 10. Now it is now it is very clear divisible by 10 means if we take the factors of 10 it is 2 into 5 so if number is divisible by 2 and 5 then it is obviously divisible by 10 so this statement is true now see the next one the numbers divisible by 6 are also divisible by 2 and 3 so if number is divisible by 6 again factors of 6 are 2 and 3 so numbers which are divisible by 6 are also divisible by 2 and 3 because 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. So this statement is also true. Now see the third statement. The numbers divisible by 7 are odd. See here if we take the table of 7 we can easily find 7, 14, 21. So here 4. Here is 4 that is this is even number. So this statement is wrong. Isn't it? So third statement is wrong now see the fourth one 1 2 3 6 are common factors of all the numbers divisible by 6 so if we take the factors of 6 it is 1 2 3 and 6 so this statement is true isn't it statement itself is a true so first second and fourth statement are true only the third statement is wrong so our option is option C so this statement, third statement, the number divisible by 7 because there is 41 which is even number and what this statement say? The numbers divisible by 7 are all. So this statement is wrong. See the question number 32. Which of the following statement is not true? Choose two correct options. Four options are there and out of four, two are correct one. So let's see the first one. The opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent. What is the meaning of this congruent? Congruent means exactly same, same size and shape. So we know what is parallelogram. Just draw a figure parallelogram. Simple. Two sides, two opposite sides are parallel to each, each other. That is parallelogram. So opposite sides are parallel, isn't it? So this side and this side. If the if we mark this A B C D, then side A B is parallel to D C and side A D is parallel to B C. This is parallelogram. Now see opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent. This angle, this angle and this angle, these are equal. This angle and this angle, B and D, these are equal. So first statement is true, isn't it? So first statement is true. Now second statement, the adjacent sides of parallelogram are congruent. So these sides, adjacent sides of parallelogram are congruent. What is the meaning of this? Adjacent sides means this, AB and AD. But here we cannot say these are the congruent because parallelogram shape may be like this also. This is also parallelogram because condition is for parallelogram is only opposite sides must be parallel. So these sides, adjacent sides are parallel, are congruent. This statement is false, isn't it? This statement is correct. This statement is second statement is false. Now see the third one. Third one, the diagonals of parallelogram are congruent. So these diagonal, diagonals means this diagonal, AC diagonal and BD diagonal. Here length are different. So these are not congruent. So this third statement is also false. Now last one, the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. But this is a property. Diagonals of the um, parallelogram bisect each other. This is property. So this statement is true. So which are the which are not true? B and C statement B this statement second option and third option these are the two options which are our required answer see the question number 33 the length of cuboidal tank is one and a half time its breadth and height is twice the length if the volume of tank is 4500 cubic meter then what is the height of tank here we will draw a simple sketch of tank cuboidal tank it is cuboidal tank means base is this length is two and a half and breadth is like this 
this is a simple sketch for our understanding if we consider this as a length and this as a breadth b then what is the relation given between length and breadth breadth and this height if we consider this as a height then relation is given length of cuboidal tank is 1 and half means l l is equal to 1 upon 1 into 1 upon 2 1 and half of breadth b that is that is equal to 3 by 2 b isn't it and height height is twice the length means h is equal to 2 l this is given in this statement and one more and one more is given volume of tank is given v volume of tank is given 4500 meter cube now formula for volume of tank is v is equal to this l into b into h this is a simple formula now put the values of all these in terms of b isn't it l we can put in terms of b h also we can put in terms of b because h is equal to 2l that is equal to 2 into l is 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 b isn't it so that is equal to this 2 2 will get cancelled and becomes 3b so v is given 4500 l is 3 upon 2 b then b as it is and h is 3b isn't it so it will becomes 3 into 3 that is 9 upon 2 and b cube is equal to 4500 just simplify this we will get value of b transfer this 9 upon 2 here we will get 4500 into 2 upon 9 is equal to b cube just solve this we will get 9 on the 9 9 5 the 45 phone so we will get b cube is equal to 1000 so b is equal to if you take the cube root of this we will get b is equal to 10 and unit will be meter now we got the breadth we got the breadth but what is asked what is the height of tank height is equal to h is equal to 3b isn't it so h is equal to 3b that is equal to 3 into 10 that is equal to 30 and unit will be meter where is the option 30 meter this is one of, one of the option 30 meter option 3 is our correct one but what is asked choose the two correct options 30 meter is nothing but 1 meter 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so this will be equal equal to 30 into 100 that will equal to 3000 centimeter so 3000 centimeter is also option that is second option so option second and third are the correct one see the question number 34 if a diameter of wheel of tractor is 1.4 meter then how much distance is covered by the wheel in 400 complete rotations so just see a diameter of a wheel or sketch of a rough sketch of this wheel here what is given diameter is given that is 1.4 meter diameter of wheel now in one rotation it will complete a distance equal to its perimeter so if we calculate the perimeter of this formula is formula for perimeter of the uh, circle is pi d pi is nothing but 22 upon 7 and diameter is given 1.4 so just simplify this 22 into this will be equal to 0 0.2 0 0.2 into 22 that is equal to if we take the multiplication of this we will get 4.22 into 44 4.4 and unit will be meter we got the perimeter p means in one complete rotation that this wheel will cover 4.4 meter distance but what is asked distance covered by the wheel in 400 complete rotation means total distance covered total distance covered is equal to this perimeter into 400 so 4.4 into 400 that will equal to 4.4 means 6 and here 
1.17 now see here this 2 0 will calculate this we will get this much distance point will be here that we equal to 1760 and unit will be meter isn't it so this is the unit of uh, this is total distance covered but it is given in meter and what are the options options are in kilometer so we know one kilometer is equal to thousand meter so this distance will be one seven six zero divided by thousand kilometer that will be equal to one point seven six kilometer and option is one point seven six kilometer option is third option so third option is our correct one See the question number 35. In the adjoining figure, line L parallel to line M parallel to line N and line X and Y are their transversals. I mean these three lines are parallel L, M, N and this line X and Y. These are the transversal of these two, three parallel lines. What is asked? In what is given? AB is equal to 18 centimeter. This AB, this distance is given 18 centimeter. Now, BC is given 30 centimeter. BC is given 30 centimeter. QR is given this QR is given 21 centimeter and what is asked PR means this distance this distance is asked isn't it this PR is asked now we know the property of this from the property of this we can write this AB we can write AB upon BC that is equal to ratio of these two will be equal to ratio of this PQ upon QR isn't it PQ upon QR now AB is that will be AB is given 18 centimeter BC is given 30 centimeter that is equal to PQ here PQ is not given so we will calculate PQ and then PR then QR is given 21 centimeter from this we will get from this we, we can calculate PQ that PQ is equal to PQ is equal to this 18 upon 30 into 21 isn't it so just solve this we will get here 10 and here 7 18 into 7 that is 126 upon 10 that will equal to 12.6 we got PQ but what is asked PR now we know PR is equal to this PR is equal to PQ plus QR that is PQ we just calculated that is 12.6 and QR it is given 21 if we take the addition we will get here 6 and 3 and 3 so option 33.6 is option 33.6 that is the fourth option is correct one this is all for this video. Thank you.